Come on. And yeah, touch is working. We got a working touch. Hello everyone, welcome back to Ayman the Repair Tech channel. My name is Ayman and today's video is about iPhone 6s. Has a problem with the touch, touch is not working at all. It came from another shop uh, and you know what that means. Let's have a look. I will not comment about this because people don't like me commenting about uh, technicians who do this. Leave me a comment below. What do you think about that? So this phone has been here since two days and uh, I was trying to avoid fixing it but it's for a friend and I thought uh, let's make a video so I, w uh, I would challenge myself and fix it because I don't like uh, to make full of myself in front of everybody on YouTube. Now let's turn it on by this amazing tweezer. This tweezer called uh, 2WL. My friend Sven sent me two of those as a gift. Thank you, thank you Union Repair. It came in a very decent packaging, looks very nice. And it's very delicate, very precision. I can hold uh, the smallest component with it, I love it. So as you know 6S has one connector for uh, touch and display and backlight. I will start by uh, measuring the resistance values on the connector. This one should be an OL, but it gives me 1.473, that's mean a short. So we continue, this one should be 200, it's giving me 3, so all the resistance value screwed up. So till here we are okay and all of these pins responsible about uh, Backlight and display and since I have display and backlight, I don't need to check them. I'll check down here This pin also should give me an OL, but it gives me 0 0.470 which means a short And here we have a missing resistance, uh, two missing resistance, three missing resistance. No, I don't, I don't think so. There is two pins already with OL. Uh, four missing resistance, five missing resistance, six missing resistance. So as you can see we have a lot of uh, pins or pads has a missing resistance that's because the underfill I see already here the components are not uh, in place you can see here that all the capacitors and filters and resistors is not in the place uh, you can see, you can see that two, you can see that one. So I have to remove this, I have to remove all of this. I don't understand why they put this green solder mask on the backlight chip. I don't understand what was going on here. Let's start from the beginning. Let's make it all clean.
Okay, I, I will put flux and I will try to uh, put those small tiny components in their place again. Then I will take a new measurement. I think everything uh, got back to its place except that one. Uh, no, still. That's a filter, very important. You can see here everything. Oh my god. So now I will use this new solder from Mijing, also has been sent to me from Union Repair. They are sending me a lot of free tools and by, by next month I'm going to China, so I hope I will get more free tools. The reason they send me these tools because they trust my opinion and if I like the tool, I'm recommending it to you, so that's a win-win situation. What I'm doing here? What is that? That's fine, by the way. It's all under control. That's one crazy way to repair that kind of problems. I don't have time to waste. Let's spread the solder all the way <laughs> on the board. Do this if you don't have chips chips on the area you are fixing. But if you have a chip, never, never do like that. Oops, where you come from? Come with me. by the iron I don't know why I did like that but that's a crazy uh, it's a crazy repair video so no problem board is full in flux but don't worry I will ultrasonic that later if you are crazy see me and you spread the solder all the way like this you have to clean from 
this side to outside the board, not to inside, like this. Don't take the solder pads to inside, just throw it outside. And if you put a tissue, the tissue will help you to collect those solder balls. So now let's measure resistance again. So before number three should have OL, but it had a value and still have a value. So I guess that's because uh, capacitor. Let's check what, what line is that. This is the one connected to cap, cap here and filter then from the filter to where? To PN5V7LCM Mason. That's the chestnut. Let's have a look on the chestnut. And I know the chestnut is v working good for display, but could be not working that good for touch. And you can see here all their work. That's, that's from before, by the way. That's why I'm telling you this is like... Uh, why I don't care so much about this phone. It's from a friend, but he the one destroyed it, not me. Let me take off the chestnut. I think it's not uh, correctly in its place. Let's let's see. This nut is good. Let's put it back. Maybe internal short in the chip, but I will not uh, judge that fast, especially when I have too many components uh, rusty and looks very bad. Yeah, let go back to your place. Do you need flux? I think you need flux because this flux on the board is not good flux. He need antic flux. Yeah, baby. See, he need antic flux. Let me remove this. Because it's connected to the line which is shorted and now let's measure again number three are you okay do you still have value hey the value is gone there's no value anymore okay hey what do you know the short came back so i think we have to change chestnut i wouldn't bother to inject or do something like that that's one lousy repair video I don't have new chestnut so I'm taking it for from a donor board Make me revolve you. You will make me revolve you. Do I have to? I guess so. No, I don't guess so. We agreed to make one lousy repair video. 
so we are making a lousier repair video. That phone doesn't deserve to have a rebold chip. That phone even doesn't want doesn't worth wasting my time, but let's do it anyway. Let's see if the short is gone. Oh my god, that's the P negative, and P negative sometimes do like that. Oh my god. Oh my god, how careless I am. Never mind, never mind that. Let's continue measuring. Four hundred five, and now it's OL. Uh huh. That should be on OL, and it gives me a uh, four hundred forty-eight. Let's go to ZXW. What is number four? I to see touch to Mamba proximity clock. Okay, where are you? It's here connected to the resistor and connected to the connector of the touch ID from here. It's connected to PP1V8 touch. PP1V8 touch has a resistance value like 300, 350. And this is 2 kilo, which is make isolation. It isolates the impedance. So if my friend, the other technician, he removed that one and he put a filter or he put a wire that will take the resistance from here to here let's let's check that theory let's see what we have here and this is not a resistor this is a filter how do i know let's put the multimeter on the resistance value and if it give me a lower resistance that's mean it's a filter aha uh -huh. filter not 2k resistance it's a filter let's put another board here and check what we have in this area there is nothing here what why there's nothing here should be 2 kilo ohm resistor let me check another board this is test board working board nothing here there's nothing here huh. the zxw is not recognizing the no stuff this should be no stuff and my friend he put a filter here that's how the two lines get connected together let's remove that filter Let's check now if it's an OL, number 4, are you OL? Yes, it is OL. Short is cleared. Let's check the rest. Here on pin number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, this one should be an OL, and it's OL, but this one should not be an OL, and I guess that's because of the missing component here, uh, this is capacitor, 
So pin number 11 from this side, 11, I'm just counting the pins, is for SPI, Touch, AP, Misu. This pad is responsible about Touch also, and the filter is that one. Let's check if that filter is there, and I, I see the filter is not here. So we'll do a jumper for that one. So jumper is done. Now let's test pin number 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And we have a resistance. This filter doesn't look like it's soldered good to the board. Or maybe yes. But this resistor, what this resistor for? Because it looks very bad. Uh, it's AP to LCM reset. It's for the reset. And it's working. It, it's okay because if this one have a problem, the display will not work. There's one resistor here is missing. I want to check if it's no stuff. Uh, yeah. There's one resistor here is missing. And the other board. I will take it from here. It's touched to proximity enable. Let's clean it and run it for test. Okay, we don't have a short. That's a good sign. Let's turn the phone on. And we'll see if it will turn on or no. And it's consuming current. And yeah, it's turning on. Not, de not yet dead. We'll see if the touch will work. I hope so. Come on. And yeah, touch is working. We got a working touch. Here you go, guys. I don't know uh, the password of the phone to check the Wi-Fi and the camera and everything. But this phone here is for touch. If it has another issue, We'll see if I can make another video for it. Before you go, if you liked this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more coming lousy iPhone repair videos. Till then, my work here is done and I'll see you next one. See you guys.